Mosques like this one are common in the capital, Abuja. As around half of Nigeria's 180 million people are Muslim, while the other half is roughly Christian. But religious violence in recent years has strained relations between members of the two faiths. And at times, Muslims have been portrayed as sympathizers of terrorism. But this Muslim scholar says it's a negative stereotype. So people are not Muslims and they continue to uh, 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 promote violence in the name of Islam, trying to, you know, disguise, which is very wrong. So we get it wrong sometimes. We think that these people are Muslims. They are not Muslims. A Muslim is not supposed to be violent, even to animals, to talk of human beings. Activities of militant groups like Boko Haram have led to negative perception. But the Muslim community has not allowed itself to be distracted as its members continue their outreach programs across the country. They are using the Ramadan period to bridge the religious divide. The breaking of the fast, iftar, is open to all. Kafilat is leading a campaign to reach out to people of other religions with this message to fellow Muslims. Be good to them, be nice to them, you understand, give charity to them, be friendly with them. So your religion can even say much about you, your character, you understand. We we'll tell people that uh, this woman, this man, that uh, Islam is not like that. From so-so-so person, you can read that Islam is a religion of peace. They are not terrorists. This sentiment is shared by this Christian leader. Of course, the Muslims, they are humans. The Christians, they are humans. We are all humans. We are not created to be enemies of one another. So, but if we have the proper understanding, insight, and the capacity to amicably, undeniably, and then justifiably pass these information on, I think this whole issue will be resolved. And the Muslim community hopes this Ramadan will help spread that message. Fidelis Mba, TLT World, Abuja.